this is the second part of my first video so if you haven't seen that just go back and watch that one first so you know what's going on now there's also differences that make you feel extremely uncomfortable and i'll give you a good example when i was first reapplying for my visa i was sitting at a table and there was someone from serbia sitting next to me and the worker was doing us both at the same time. So I filled out my papers, I gave it to him, the guy stamped my papers, and he said, have a nice day. I got my new visa, I left. Before I left though, the Serbian, you know, he had his paper stamped, and the worker said to him, that'll be 50 euro. And I just thought it's kind of funny, but not in a funny way that the guy who's coming from the much poor country has to pay to get what I'm getting for free. And you feel bad for that guy. You're kind of embarrassed because you know it's not fair. And you do learn quickly how things are not really fair against other people when you're an American in a foreign country. Another example is I could move to Estonia, I can move to Albania, I can move to Romania, I can move to many European countries. They won't require I have a job. They won't check into my bank account to see how much I have. They will let you stay there permanently simply because you're an American and from there thinking all Americans have money and you're a benefit to their country. But if you're from Romania, you're going to have a hard time staying in any of these countries. It's just part of life that's unfair. But what you notice in Europe as an American, it's often unfair to the other people. And it's something that makes you feel happy about that you can get you know you can get what you want but it also makes you feel a little guilty you feel bad for the other people because they really don't have a chance so that's just something that you get used to after a while but you never stop feeling bad about that I think another good example about how Americans are treated overseas and maybe that we have more advantages simply for being an American is when I first came to Austria, my visa ran out and I was required to go to another country for three months and then I could return and get another visa. I didn't want to go to another country for three months. I didn't have the money to do that. Where was I going to stay if I went to Italy? So I just stayed in my apartment with my girlfriend. One day the police came over, knocked on the door. She opened it up and the police said, come on, American, you have to go home for three months. And my girlfriend said, he's going, he's going. And the police left. That was it. Guaranteed, if I was from another country, you know, from Eastern Europe, for example, the police would not have just left. The funny thing is, six months later, the same policeman came to the apartment and said, you know, smiling, come on, American, you have to go. And my girlfriend started yelling at them. The police left. The funny thing is, is during the evening, my girlfriend was telling her mom what happened. Her mom took me, because I couldn't speak uh, German at that time. Her mom took me by the arm, ran across the street with me into the police station and started yelling in German at the police officers who were standing there. They were just looking at her like she was crazy. She was yelling at them. I didn't know what was going on. And she grabbed my arm and pulled me out of there. And she just said to me, everything will be okay. The police never came back to the apartment and told me to leave. I wound up staying for another year and a half and then finally we got married. But this was just something, 
like out of a comedy show. It was hilarious when it happened. I think another thing I'm going to add in here, I'm not sure if it's a big difference that you notice when you move overseas or to Europe or to Austria. When I first came, it was during the ex-Yugoslavian war with Serbia and Bosnia all fighting each other. And that's very close to Austria. I didn't really know much about what was going on when I came here. I just knew there was a war very close to Austria and that made me extremely uncomfortable, made me nervous because I didn't know, you know, how these wars work out in Europe. And my girlfriend kept on telling me, don't worry, don't worry, it's in another country. And I was thinking, it's in another country, you can drive in one and a half hours, we're there. What you do find out, and it does take some time because it's, you know, it makes you nervous when you're not used to it. The wars in Europe, they're usually internal wars in one country. They, it doesn't leave those countries. You can be right next door and you will never know there is a war there going on there. So that that takes a while to get used to. You know, now what's happening between Russia and Ukraine is not common, but it's just a very uncomfortable feeling when you know you're next to a country that's at full out war, they're all killing each other less than an hour away. And it takes time to learn that's just never gonna cross the border. And the last big difference I'll mention, because it's the one that's the most fun. I came to Austria in 1991 in October. And what I noticed was at that time, you were treated like a rock star. I used to joke and say that. And what I mean by that is no matter where you went, no matter what city you went to, People then really didn't meet many Americans and everybody wanted to know you, know about you, know what you did, know how you acted. You were invited everywhere. You were a big deal because they never met an American. Today, it's completely different. I would say it changed. I noticed around 1999, maybe. 1998, so seven or seven or eight years after I got here, um, everybody ignores you. You know, everybody's seen Americans. They've talked to America. They've been to America. Now you're just like every other schmuck out there. You know what I mean? But when I first came, one time I was standing in a cafe at the entrance waiting for my girlfriend to come, and somebody sitting at one of the tables um said or heard me talking to the waitress and I could only speak English in the beginning and I told her I'm waiting for my girlfriend and some guy sitting alone at the table said where are you from and I said American he said oh it's Americans come on sit down he made me sit down he bought me glasses of wine while I was waiting for my girlfriend it was and and it's just the way you were treated that was just one instance there were many other instances in the beginning where you'd go out to a cafe, you'd be sitting with your two friends and there'd be a couple of um, younger people next to you at the table. And if they got word, just, you know, heard you talking to your friends, something about America, they immediately wanted to become your friend. They wanted to talk to you. They wanted to get to know more about you and more about America. And then of course we went through those times where at least online, there was that anti-American time. You know, in real life, in Europe, there was never that anti-American time. You could go out, no one is gonna say anything to you if you're American today or during the time when all the people online were anti-American. I think it's just because it's the cool thing online to do. But in real life, um, even today, you either have the people who say, oh, you're American, and then they walk away because it's no big deal. They, they, they've been to America, they've spoken to many Americans. You have a few people who say, oh, that's interesting. Why are you here? You know, 
but nothing like it used to be 30 years ago where people just stopped doing what they were doing. They wanted to talk to you. They pulled you to the side. They really went out of their way to make you feel special because they were so happy to finally talk to an American. It was very weird, and but it was a lot of fun. And like I said before, I used to joke and say, it's it feels like you're a famous person, a rock star. You just don't have the money they do, but you're getting treated almost the same way.